So I have this fully mixed track and I want to make an instrumental out of it and then I want to lift the vocal out and have that as an acapella. Here's a little clip of the song. Now here's the instrumental that I made. And here's the acapella. Let's check out how I did that. So I used this online stem separation tool called Lala. You literally just drag the audio file onto their interface. It could not be simpler. By default, they have vocal and instrumental selected. That's what I want, but you can actually do 10 different types of stem separation, um, which gives you the ability to do tons of stuff. But uh, literally, I just take the fully mixed song, I drag it on top of the interface, and boom, it does its thing. So here's the results where we can preview uh, what has been done. So let's just go ahead and listen to the vocal. Feels so surreal as I want forever in this daydream. Sounds pretty good. So we can mute that and then we can unmute the instrumental. Let's listen to that. I don't know what you guys, I'm going to give that a thumbs up. And uh, then if you're ready to download the results, you're happy with them, you can go split in full. You can click here and you can choose the file formats. Uh, I uploaded this in a WAV file. Um, so I'm just going to leave it selected as same as input. Okay, so we're going to go split in full and it's going to do its thing and then we'll download the results. Right on. So there it is. And we can just click download and Bob's your uncle. There we are. Let's load these up in the DAW. So we have everything spooled up. The blue track is the Lala instrumental. Pink is the Lala vocal. White is my clean instrumental right from the DAW just by muting the vocal. And then the gray is the vocal soloed and exported from the DAW so it's completely transparent. Okay, let's compare back and forth with the instrumentals first and then the vocal. I mean, let me know what you guys think, but that sounds pretty clean to me. That sounds good. Um, I'm I'm struggling to hear if there's much missing, actually. <laughs> so, uh, not bad. The vocal, that's a tall order. Uh, I mean, vocals can be really hard, especially when they have reverb and stuff like that in the side channel of the mix. So, uh, let's check out the vocal now. So surreal as I want forever in this daydream And I feel like this is quite alright Till you realize this is not paradise Lift him, lift him, lift him me higher grounds Lift him, lift him, lift him to better south Lift him, lift him, lift him me higher grounds Yeah. I mean, let me know what you guys think about that. Drop me comments. Let me know what you're hearing, the differences. I hear that it's it's really good. It, it's amazing it can extract that from a full mix. Um, there's a bit of high frequency level loss, easy to compensate for with a high shelf EQ boost. No problem. I think that's just a, just a straight up shelf. Um, and then you're hearing a bit of the effects of the stem separation in terms of it, sound, it can sound a little bit watery. You can hear the reverb suppression working. Totally usable. I would completely use this um yeah let me know what you guys think and uh now i've got another use case so let's check that out so sometimes i need to shoot youtube videos not in my control room with all the acoustic treatment but i need to shoot them in other places and you have natural reverberation echoes in the space and so this 
Echo and Reverb Remover is a new tool. I haven't ever used it before. It's going to be my first time checking it out. I have this video. It's in my YouTube video that I did a while ago. And I, I filmed the intro in my kitchen in a super reverberant space. So it's a glass and wood. Uh, I'll just play it for you so you guys can hear how that sounds compared to this video in my control room. Ah, that's good. What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes in my mastering process. I've just... Yeah, okay. So you 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 get what I'm going out there. And there's, there's this guy that said, uh, speech sound in intro needs a mastering with a capital M. And uh, I'm, it is mastered, dude. <laughs> like, this is what it sounds like when you have mastered audio that's recorded in a room that has some ambience. Here's the original. One of my clients and good friends. And I'm going to show you guys. Here's the mastered version. Process. I've just been sent a new song to master by one of my clients and good friends. Like there's only so far you can push these plugins before they start sounding really artifacty, and I, I wasn't able to remove the majority of the reverb. So let's see what Lalal can do. I'll use add voice recording, and we'll choose that one that was reverby. Moment of truth. Here we go. So it's separated out the beginning as noise. Let's listen. Process. I've just been sent a new song to master by one of my clients and good friends. And I'm going to show you guys uh, the full ride, actually, the full journey of wanting to take you inside the process. And that starts with prepping the master. So, okay, sounds promising so far. Let's actually um, split in full and uh, download these. And we'll do the same test. We'll go back and forth between the original and then the suppressed. And uh, we'll listen in the DAW. Okay, so the white version is my original with the full chain of effects you can see below. And then I inserted on the duplicated track the Lal -la version in pink, and I left all of my same mastering effects active. So it's going to process the voice in the same way. But I just I deactivated my gate, the uh, Isotope RX D reverb, and voice denoise. Okay, so the, the things that I was doing using the plugins that I had to try and clean up the audio, I've deleted those or, or disabled them. Now we can go back and forth, and, and here's, the, here's the real deal. Here's my original. Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes in my mastering process. I've just been sent a new song to master by one of my clients and good friends, and I'm going to show you guys uh, the full ride, actually, the full journey of wanting to take you inside the process. And that starts with prepping the master. So in this first video, there's going to be two back-to-back. So this is the first of two. In this first video, I'm going to be focusing on how I actually get the song from the client. Yeah, um, really, really good. Much better than what I was using. I'm, I'm super impressed, actually, and I will absolutely use this for my YouTube videos. Um, I find that what you start hearing when you, when you get artifacts is you start hearing a watery sound and you get high frequency level loss. And I'm not hearing that really that much in this always you're going to get artifacts but i mean wow that's pretty that's pretty good definitely better than what i was using you heard the ab uh again let me know what you think in the comments right on if you guys like this video please slap a thumbs up let me know in the comments uh if there's anything you want to know about this or any other topics around audio hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel and uh, much love guys i will chat with you soon catch you on the next video Let's get lost.